assalamu alaikum doctors welcome to my youtube channel mbbs and bds lectures today we will learn how to take history in very short time mean repeat history taking most of the student are confused even after completing the rotation in ward because because in a, a hospital history sheet there is a Uh, uh, different steps in books there is a different steps and when teacher teach they teach in a own manner means separate steps and when uh, doctor come and search in youtube there is a separate steps in each video but today your all queries will be solved and the history sheet which are available in clinical wards hospitals we will discuss this repeat sheet history steps according to bedside books mean i will explain all these uh, history sheet uh, steps according to books one by one and i will promise if you watch this video till the end you will be master of history taking now according to rapid history taking or uh, short history taking form which are available in hospitals private hospitals and uh, wards there are actually a 10 steps here uh, the first step uh, here in this sheet is mentioned is a patient profile second is the presenting complaint third is the history of presenting illness fourth is a patient health history and fifth is a treatment history sixth is a family history and seventh is a personal history and eighth is a socio economic history and ninth is a systematic review but in tenth the tenth additional step is the first step which is the introduction of doctor to patient and taking consent from patient we will discuss these all steps of rapid history taking one by one and when we either you work in private hospital or government sector when you uh, are trying to take history in the rapid history taking sheet you uh, you will be know everything about this now first we start from Uh, a medical history consists of a 10 components and it should be recorded in the same pattern as seen below the first step in the medical history taking is the introduction and consent and this is to taking uh, steps is same for general surgery medicine and every field but in each field there will be one step Uh, addition like in gynae the additional step is a menstrual cycle history but in each field their 10 step will be same now a medical history consists of a 10 components and it should be recorded in the same pattern as seen below the first is the introduction and consent but in this history repeat history sheet the first step is the patient profile because here the um, uh, patient consent and introduction is not mentioned and it is not required to write in the repeat history sheet and it uh, and uh, actually this is the beginning of the history if you uh, uh, when you go and uh, um, taking history of a patient profile first you should introduce yourself and take patient consent now in introduction and consent once you find the patient you are to work with start by making a good handshake but only if the patient is not of the opposite gender 
इन अपोजिट जेंडर यू शुड अवॉइड बट इन सेम जेंडर यू मेक अ गुड हैंड शेक वाइल हैविंग अ पोलाइट स्माइल ऑन यूर फेस एंड मेक आई कंटेक्ट इंट्रोड्यूस यूर सेल्फ एंड गेन कंसेंट फ्राम टेकिंग दियर हिस्ट्री एंड हाउ यू इंट्रोड्यूस यूर सेल्फ एंड टेक कंसेंट लेट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्राम दिस एग्जाम्पल हियर इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हाउ यू कैन इंट्रोड्यूस यूर सेल्फ स्टार्ट फ्राम ग्रेटिंग असलम माई नेम इज एक्सवाइजर आई एम अ थर्ड ईयर फोर्थ ईयर और फाइनल ईयर मेडिकल स्टूडेंट एंड आई एम हेयर टू एग्जामाइन यू आर टू टेक यूर हिस्ट्री शुड यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसीजर प्लीज लेट मी नाउ दिस इज द दिस इज द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड कंसेंट नाउ कम टू दी सेकेंड स्टेप विच इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन रिपीट हिस्ट्री टेकिंग शीट पेशेंट प्रोफाइल नाउ हेयर इन पेशेंट प्रोफाइल यू शुड आस्क अबाउट पेशेंट नेम If there is a female patient, its father name or its husband. If uh, she is married, then age of patient, sex of patient, marital status, occupation, residency, date of admission, either admitted through OPD or come through emergency. This is the patient profile. Now come to the here in detail. The patient profile consists of important detail regarding the patient that are to be recorded for the reference purpose and in some condition the patient profile could also be uh, useful in early diagnosis of acquired disease as in case of an endemic or an epidemic by the knowledge of patient residency or detail like occupation can be helpful in diagnosing occupational disease such as copd in coal miner uh, if you take patient occupational history and patient uh, if patient is uh, coal miner then there will be uh, the most common disease in the coal miner is the copd due to coal allergies mean chronic obstructive pulmonary disease this is the now the patient profile consists of a name of the patient same like here in uh, in the rapid street uh, taking sheet name father name age sex marital status of occupation same here name of the patient father or husband name age sex marital status occupation residency date of admission admission through opd or emergency now come to the next step next step is the presenting complaint or chief complaint and presenting complaint or chief complaint are the complaint of patient due to which patient come to hospital please mention in chronological order mean in a chronological order and lasting duration use no medical term we should not use medical term chief complainer presenting complaint should be recorded in a patient own words and the remember and the important thing is that not exceeding 3 mean the presenting complaint or uh, chief complaint should not be more than 3 now here come to the detail in detail presenting complaint or also known as chief complaint to put in to put it in simple words the presenting complain are the reason which have brought the patient to the hospital and this happen when the patient has reached the limit of tolerance the presenting complain should be carefully noted down in a chronological order mentioning the symptoms they develop first at the top followed by a rest in sequence of occurrence in addition mention the duration of each complaint in front of it as seen in the below example like pain in the right hypochondrial region from 6 days vomiting from 4 days loose motion from 3 days the presenting complaint should not exceed 3 here 
थ्री मीन द प्रेजेंटिंग कंप्लेन शुड नॉट एक्सीड थ्री दिस इज अबाउट प्रेजेंटिंग कंप्लेन लाइक हेयर वी डिस्कस्ड इस प्रेजेंटिंग कंप्लेन नॉट एक्सीडिंग थ्री एंड यू शुड मैंशन इन अ क्रोनोलॉजिकल आर्डर अकॉर्डिंग टू इट्स ड्यूरेशन लाइक a pen in the right hypogonadism from 6 days then from 4 days for meeting then loose motion from 3 days now come to the third uh, steps in third step in rapid history taking sheet this is the history of presenting illness mean patient come with illness from how much time they suffer from this illness use patient account related to express chief complaint mean here history of present illness we elaborate the chief complaint of patient and ask question from patient and uh, in history of present illness we describe onset nature and course of each symptoms and we should avoid irrelevant detail now in history of present illness come to the detail of history of present illness uh, hopi the history of presenting illness H- hopi now in history of presenting illness the history of presenting illness or hopi is considered to be one of the most important parts of the history taking because it help in establishing a proper diagnosis and management of the patient illness in this segment you have to describe and investigate by asking question the presenting complaint in detail one by one in sequence of their development actually here in this step we ask question about the complaints of patient in a chronological order try collecting as much information regarding each presenting complaint in detail as you can take for example pain in the right hypochondrial region you can uh, further investigate uh, this uh, pain in the right hypochondrial region by asking the following question like uh, mnemonic socrates like onset of pain in the right hypochondrial region uh, means uh, site of pain onset of pain uh, radiation mean Uh, to which area this pain radiate association time course exacerbating aggravating or relieving factor mean due to which factor the pain become increased due to which factor the pain become decrease and severity of pain and here the tips is you should use patient own words we should use patient own words not medical words use patient own words and do not use medical words uh, for example right breathlessness during night instead of uh, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea we should avoid paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea and we should dyspnea and we should write breathlessness during night next is the fifth is the after hopi the next step in the history sheet is the and next is the uh, next step is the past health history mean treatment history of patient confirm it if the patient had any of the following issue myocardial infarction angina hypertension diabetes mellitus jaundice and recurrent if present mean past health is free Now in detail of the past health history uh this is the detail of the past health history in past health history ask if the patient has previously hospitalized or not if yes investigate why and what kind of treatment did he receive ask if the patient has undergo any surgical procedure and if the patient have any congenital anomalies this is about past health history and uh, next uh, uh, is the treatment history as the patient 
has been previously hospitalized surgery then treatment this is a treatment history and in a, it uh, treatment history here you can uh, you have to find out if the patient is taking any medication if yes then find out dosage of medication and how many times he is taking I mean how many times he is taking them once a day twice a day this is the treatment history now come to the after treatment history there is a family history now in family history what we will ask from patient in family history gather information about the patient parents siblings and children and find out if any of them is suffering from a similar illness or chronologic or chronic illness for example diabetes mellitus because they run in a family hypertension tuberculosis and ischemic heart disease and if any of them is dead in the family find out why because it may be similar problem the patient is suffer this is about family history because many diseases are run in a family now come to the next in history sheet is the personal history in personal history uh, we will ask about addiction and quantity consume per day blood transfusion and tattoos now come to the detail of personal history in personal history ask about patient bowel movement sleep habits and if he has any addiction like snuff smoking and alcohol next tattoos and next is the blood transfusion this is about personal history now come to the socio next in rapid history sheet is the uh, socio economic history in socio economic history for making the following assessment affordability either the patient is affordable or not access to clean water uh, drinking water and uh, sanitation third ask number of family member and total number of room to analyze spread of communicable disease because if a uh, whole family use a, a single washroom there will be uh, there will be chances of hepatitis uh mean there will be chances of communicable disease like uh, hepatitis uh, b uh, like uh, hepatitis a and mean uh, uh, that mild form of hepatitis which are uh, spread through uh, mean uh, which are uh, spread through uh, feces and uh, uh, unhygienic uh, environment uh now come to the uh, detail of socio economic history in detail of uh, socio economic uh, history it is a uh, it is to assess the financial condition of the patient which help the doctor to devise uh, a suitable treatment plan keeping in view affordability of the patient uh, you may write it is the patient has or does not have access to clean drinking water and proper sanitation this statement give idea to the reader ask number of family member and total number of room to analyze possible spread of communicable disease this is about socio economic history now come to the next step is the Uh, systematic review next step is a systematic review in systematic review uh, other than a chief complaint of patient we should ask about other system of body uh, in a um, brief way either patient have allergies either patient have any other Uh, system system disease mean other than system due to which patient come to the hospital 
in systematic uh, review in the um, uh, in the past month you have uh, you ask in the past month have you had any of the following problem and in this repeat um, history taking sheet uh, uh, these all systems are mentioned and if a patient have any systematic condition problem you should mark this like in uh, in general recent weight gain how much recent weight loss how much you should mark in the box and then if uh, uh, if a patient feel fatigue you should mark weakness fever night sweat in muscle and joints and bone system numbness joint pain muscle weakness joint swelling and ear either ringing in the ears loss of hearing in eye like uh, there is a pain redness loss of vision blurred vision dryness in throat like frequent sore throat hoarseness of voice difficulty in swallowing you should ask about everything about this uh, systematic review now come to the detail of systematic review in detail of systematic review uh, in detail of systematic review this is the systematic inquiry in this segment you have to collect small amount data data regarding the other symptoms of the body systems of the body that are not covered in the hopi the main uh, systems of the body that are need to explore uh, our systematic inquiry of the history taking are number one in general like in history sheet involve appetite weight gain weight loss sleep pattern and energy next uh, you, you should ask about cardiovascular system respiratory system elementary system urinary system nervous system skin and musculoskeletal system and you sure you should mark the symptoms in the every system a patient uh, have uh, this is a systematic review next uh, come to the last now what is the importance what are the importance of the systematic review the systematic inquiry complete the history taking process it it help exploring area which have not been given attention earlier in the hopi sometimes the patient tend to state symptoms which he thinks are important thus ignoring other system by symptoms by considering them unimportant that is we are systematic inquiry come into play it help us focusing on illness and their symptoms which have been missed next uh, in the last in the last when you think that you have completed your history taking and you have all of the information you require you must thank the patient for their time and cooperation and say that one of the doctor or post graduate medical resident looking you after them will be coming to see them soon this is all about history taking if you follow this simple steps of repeat history sheet in any word of, in any word of medical you will be able to take a proper patient history in a very short time and in any government or private sector you will able to take a best history of patient now if you like my video press the like button and share this video with your friends If you are new to my channel subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon in order to receive my each new video notification for watching my videos i am very thankful to you thank you very much